My name is Emma Panuski. I'm a content creator here at Plaid, and today on Craft Break, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the ins and outs that you will want to know to craft your very own birdhouse this spring. Uh, so we have a lot of great products here at Plaid to get you started. I'm going to run you through some of my favorites, and then we're going to start to make one together. Um, all, as always, Stephen White is uh, going to be in the comments section, so if you have any questions or any comments throughout our live stream today, make sure to comment them down below, and Stephen can either answer those questions or relay some of them over to me. Cool. How are you doing, Emma? I'm good. How are you, Stephen? I'm good. I'm just making sure that we are uh, rolling over here on Facebook and YouTube. And awesome. like you said, yeah, I'll be in the comments. Uh, if you guys have questions, let me know. Cool. Okay, so to get started, let's talk about all of the paint that you'll want to have to craft your birdhouse. So today I'm going to be working with our Folk Art Outdoor Paint, which is a really special paint, um, just like in the name. It is suited and designed to be used for all of your outdoor projects. Um, it has really great UV resilience and it is water resistant. All things that of course you'll want to have when you're crafting things that are going to be outside. Um, your paint won't, um, uh, you know, what's the word? The uh, Oh my gosh, the hue of the paint won't lessen over time. Yeah. It'll stay really um, just as bright as the day that you painted it, which of course is super important for your outdoor projects. It's water resistant, so you don't have to worry about taking all of your outdoor projects inside when it rains. Um, so two really great things that you of course want to have in any outdoor paint. And just like our um, the rest of our Folk Art brand, it is made in the USA, water-based, and non-toxic. So great for all ages to paint paint with. So that's what we're going to be working with today, our Folk Art Outdoor Paint, and it dries to a really beautiful glossy finish. And then we have two great Mod Podges that I wanted to share with you that I like to use in all of my outdoor crafts. We have Mod Podge Outdoor, which has been around for a while. Um, it again is UV resistant and it is um, water resistant. So two great things to have for outdoor. And then we also have um, kind of a new product. This is our Mod Podge water resistant. And you'll notice when you use it, the texture is a little bit different than your traditional Mod Podge. It's a little bit thinner than your traditional Mod Podge, but you can use it to adhere um, papers and fabric and glitter and all of the things that we like to decoupage with. And then of course, it's a really, really great sealer. And this is like the top of the line water resistant. Um, to resist all the water for your outdoor projects and it dries to a really beautiful super glossy finish. This project was actually sealed with our Mod Podge out, uh, water resistant so I don't know if you can see that but it dries to a really beautiful glossy finish. Emma, what is the difference between dishwasher safe and water resistant? Um, that is a great question. So they both obviously resist water, but one is also formulated to um, stand up to UV rays, which is really important for when you want to place your projects outside. So those are two of the main differences. It's kind of like sunscreen for yeah, your project. It's yeah, mod <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it is like sunscreen for your outdoor projects. Um, great, great. Uh, analogy there, Stephen. Yeah, we have Anna here who says that uh, she's really liking the new water resistant formula. Awesome. I am too. Honestly, it's one of my favorite new products. Um, it's really, really cool. And I just love that beautiful glossy finish. We did a lot of product testing where we would spray water on it, um, you know, in house. And it was really cool just to see how well the water beat it up and didn't soak into our paper or our fabric. I think when I started here at Plaid, we were testing that, and that was yeah. one of the first things that I filmed was like the tests for those things. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into it. Oh, I almost forgot. We also have some wonderful birdhouse surfaces that I wanted to share with you guys. So we have this really cute little two-tiered birdhouse that Plaid makes. This really cute little multifaceted birdhouse. I love the roof on this one. Very classic birdhouse shape. And lastly, we have this birdhouse that I'm going to be crafting with today. 
and all of the products that we're talking about on our live stream today, you can find them on platonline.com. Yeah, there's a link in the description uh, for YouTube and Facebook, where we're streaming to today, where you can find the links to everything. Awesome. Okay, so first of all, let's get some paint on our palette. I'm going to start with um, this really pretty green color, Folk Art, folk art Outdoor. It's a bit of a tongue twister, Folk Art Outdoor. Folk Art Outdoor. <laughs> and I'm just taking this number 12 flat brush and I'm going to paint the little trim of our birdhouse at the top here. You know, in a way, you could say you're doing home decor right now because you're That's decorating true, somebody's, some, some bird's future home. Some you know? home renovations. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to paint this because I have an idea for the rest of our roof. So set that aside, put this in my water basin. And over here, I just have some really cute little floral papers that I'm going to be crafting with today. So we're going to line up our paper onto our roof. And I'm just measuring how tall our roof is or how long it is. So that way we have our little mark there. Perfect. So you can see I made that little mark just to dictate how long our roof was. And then I folded the paper. So once you make that little tiny marking, you'll fold your paper and you can cut down along that line. So Anna, the same person that uh, said that they're liking the new water resistant formula, said that they've been using Mod Podge since the 70s. Wow, Anna, that is quite a long time to be using Mod Podge. Um, you're about to be up here crafting with us, Anna. I know. You're an expert. <laughs> Seriously. Well, thank you for being such a loyal Mod Podge customer since the, six, the 60s or the 70s? 70s. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Okay, so once we have that w our first measurement here, I'm going to make another little mark. Right here, we're going to do our little fold technique again. going to cover both sides of our birdhouse roof, so I'm going to cut out another piece of paper. So that we are ready to go. Okay, so now that we have our two pieces of paper for our roof, let's get out our Mod Podge outdoor. We love a brand new bottle. I know, we do love a brand new bottle. <laughs> Feels very special. Mm -hmm. We go through a lot of Mod Podge in this place. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a three quarter inch flat brush and I'm going to apply the Mod Podge directly to my wood birdhouse. Emma would
with um, Mod, Pod, Mod Podge Outdoor. Um, see, that's the tongue twister for me is Mod Podge <laughs> Outdoor. Uh, would that work with napkins as well? Absolutely, Stephen. Great question. So the great thing about Mod Podge Outdoor is that you can use most of those substrates that you would typically want to use with traditional formulas of Mod Podge, like um, paper, photos, napkins, glitter, all of that stuff that you love to Mod Podge with. Okay. One side down. Let's get the other side. This is all seeming uh, pretty easy so far. Yeah, this is a really simple little craft. It's really great for all ages. It's great for a group of younger folks if you're wanting to have a little crafting party, prepare for spring. Um, really simple and quick. So I may be getting ahead of us, ourselves here, but are we going to have to Mod Podge the top too? That's a great question, Stephen. I like where you're going with that. So yes. So once this dries, I would give it about 30 minutes to dry so it's not tacky anymore. You're going to want to apply a top coat to the roof of your house with Mod Podge Outdoor again. Or really you could go in with your Mod Podge water resistant too, whatever you prefer. But I think this is all we're gonna Mod Podge for our um, house. On the face of our house here, let's do a little bit of our folk art outdoor. And the great thing about that is that um, the folk art outdoor is self-sealing, so you don't need to put any sealers to you know, extra protect it from the outdoor elements. It has everything you need built into the formula. So once you paint your folk art outdoor onto your birdhouse, you don't need to seal it with anything. It's good to go and be placed outside. Okay, so. Well, it's good to know that you would want to do a top coat with the Mod Podge Outdoor. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, that's what makes it outdoor safe. So, you know, Mod Podge is the all-in-one glue and sealer. So once you adhere your papers down with your Mod Podge and let it dry, you definitely want to apply that top coat um, to seal it because that's what makes it resistant outside. Okay, I'm going to base coat the face of my birdhouse with this really pretty cream color. And you can see too how great um, Folk Art Outdoor is um, in its coverage. The opacity is just so great. It's really a one and done situation with this paint, which I love. I'm going to rinse my brush again.
Now let's go in and paint some really simple little florals onto our birdhouse. So we have another comment. Um, I have used the Folk Art Outdoor Paint on countless pieces of terracotta. Um, totally holds up. Yeah, awesome. I'm glad to hear that. So that's another great thing about our Folk Art Outdoor Paint. It is multi-surface, so you can paint it on uh, terracotta, paper mache, wood, um, you know, tin, all of that, canvas, all of that great stuff. Okay, so I'm going to paint some really simple little florals here. So just some loose little circles. Kind of match the ones on the roof. Yeah, that's what I'm going for, Stephen. Don't give my secrets away. Rinse my brush. I'm going to go in with our ochre color here. And Some simple little leaves coming out from our flower buds. Freaking cute. Add a little bit of detail to our flowers here with some really simple little comma strokes. Then we'll paint some centers for our flowers. How about that? Sounds good. Just a little bit of of a dabbing motion in the center of our flowers. Then you have a really sweet and simple little birdhouse, perfect for spring. So we went over um, some ways to apply Mod Podge to your birdhouses to make them safe for the outdoor elements. We talked about some different kinds of paint that you can use in our folk art line um, to make your project safe for outdoor. All of the products that we listed you can find on platonline.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.